30 plus years ago, I used to drink and I was on the back roads just riding around drinking. And I prayed for this baby blue-eyed boy. And you know, God is good. He delivered. And so once again, I am praying for my little baby blue-eyed boy to come home again. The Tok Native Association used to have um, a potluck during uh, the dog races down there. They also had baby contests. So about four, th four or three days prior to that, I said, oh, I think I want Dorn to be in the baby contest. So they whipped up everything you see here. A local um, person in the village um, got his uh, bow and arrows together. And so <laughs> and, um, my mom walked him around the gym and he let go of his grandma's hands and he just started singing and the whole gym just went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so he did win the baby contest that year. He was a jokester. Um, he was funny. He liked to crack jokes. Um, so you were always laughing when you were around him. And, and he never hesitated to tell you, I love you. Yeah. Dorn was adventurous. He was funny. Um, he was a family guy. His family was really important to him. Um, he always checked in with us, um, even you know when we all grew up and went our own ways. Um, I had a kid, and he was always checking in on my son. Um, he was curious what he was up to. He was very kind. He was helpful. He had a big heart for people that were having just life problems and uh, the one that he was telling me about in Anchorage is there's just this guy walking and he he knew that he probably didn't have a home he just appeared to you know be homeless so he stopped and you know as told the guy you know what do you want to Go over to my house, I'll, you can shower up, we'll get your clothes cleaned up and I'll uh, we'll feed you and all that kind of stuff and you can just relax for a bit and we'll bring you back. Well, the guy said, yeah. So anyways, that's what they did. Uh, he went over and I'm sure knowing Doran, he probably said, well, here, you know, use, use my clothes. I don't need these or whatever. It's just, just that kind of guy. And so that was all done. He fed him and what have you. And then um, pretty soon he said, well, let's take you back to where I picked you up from. And he told me, he said, Mom, right where I picked him up, I dropped him right off right there. And, and he said, so we parted just saying, see you later. Yeah, so he had a dog um, <clears throat> named Groot. Um, in the short period of time that Dorn um, stayed with us when he was working here, Groot was with him, um, and he would leave Groot with us sometimes, or Groot would go to work with him. But they were they were buddies. They were uh, very close. They Groot was a very nice dog. Um, my son loved him. He was gentle with him, and he followed Dorn everywhere. That was his sidekick. Even when we're in the house, if Dorn's laying down on the sofa and I'm sitting over here in an armchair and I'll ask Groot to come over and he wouldn't, he will stay right with Dorn. And so they were that close. And then he went missing. I mean, I don't know how to, how else to say that, you know, it's, um, but not saying anybody was wrong is just the way that it unfolded his, his life pattern. And he did say that, you know, I'm going to be up there for a couple of days and then I plan on coming back and just finishing my other project. 
and then he met friends and then his dog went missing and it was just one one little thing after another. He got his big dog, black one, and we thought uh, if something happened, they they're gonna find his dog, and you know we know where where he went, and not that way. I think also how much the rest of the family misses him and wants so much to find him. It's, it's just so important that we find him. I think what I miss is Doran's random check-ins. Um, just always wanting to know how you're doing and and the I love you's and that was the last thing he said to me. We could hope. We could pray. We know that there's people out there who know what happened to Doran, and we would really encourage you to, to come forward with the information that you have, just so that we can, we wanna know what happened to Doran and where he is so that we can bring him home. We miss him. We wait, we wait. And Oh, Dawn. How sad.